And the Republicans are off the rails right now uh, with their new revolution. <laughs> uh, they came to Washington. They have a new Senate majority. They have a bigger House majority. And they said they're going to govern. Uh, they're having some issues. Uh, let's start with immigration and why they have this dysfunction. And then the dots I want to connect it to are pressures from other forces in the party and then our political polarization at the moment. And let's start with the Speaker John Boehner. The House passed legislation mm -hmm. that essentially funds the Department of Homeland Security but tells President Obama, sorry, you can't do all the things you did just after last year through executive action. Speaker John Boehner says now it's up to the Senate, right? The Republicans now control the Senate. Why can't they just embrace what we did and pass it? Listen. The House did its work. We won this fight. Now it's time for Senate Republicans and Senate Democrats uh, to come together and, and, to, and to hold the president accountable. He's got a tough job. He's got a tough job over there. You know, I got, I've got a tough job over here. God bless him and good luck. <laughs> um, God bless him. Yeah, he loves it. Boehner sarcasm, Boehner humor. Uh, but Mitch McConnell has a different dynamic. His guys run statewide. He's got 13 or 14 guys, sent Republican senators. Number one, he doesn't have 60 votes. He only has 54. And then he's got Republican senators from states Obama has won at least once. And he's got six or seven guys on the ballot in 2016 from states Obama carried twice. Uh, why can't the Republicans get themselves out of what I call their immigration quicksand? You know, it's it's just, it's also this traditional like House versus the Senate. I mean, right. it it was a dream that it would everything would just go through and then go to the president. And he would veto it, and you know they win. Mm -hmm. But I think with immigration, the other thing about the Senate is one person can stop up the whole thing. So you have people like Ted Cruz, who's taking the very right, and then you, you're absolutely right. You have people in the swing states that don't want to don't want to take a vote on immigration. So they, he hasn't, Mr. McConnell Monson. hasn't learned to thread the needle yet. Uh, in, in 2016, there are going to be lots of those 2010 Republicans in Senate races who are going to be up for re-election in swing states, as you mentioned. Ron Johnson in Wisconsin, Richard Burr in North Carolina is another example. But Jackie's right. There are just so many procedural things going on here, uh, they need to get a f uh, 60 votes in the Senate, and they, they don't have that many votes, and that's about it. So John Boehner loves that the pressure's off him, and he gets the points mm -hmm. to the, Mitch the, McConnell The procedural now. rules wouldn't be an issue if they had compromise and a consensus over what to do. And the Republicans can't negotiate with the Democrats on immigration because they can't negotiate with themselves first. They can't right. resolve their own differences over what to do, so they're stuck on this.